Take your time, man. Read up. This is the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 2 and verse 3. Come on. Talk no more exceedingly proudly. Come on. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. Don't be so aggrant. Aggrancy. Don't have the big head all the time. Well, somebody can't tell you nothing. You're looking at, okay, look at me. I got cars and rims and gold, so you can't tell me nothing. I make more money than you, so you can't tell me nothing. I have more women than you, you can't tell me nothing. Our people get real pride and aggrancy. They get the big head, they get puffed up. What are you puffed up for? You in captivity like me. What are you puffed up for? You struggling like me. And we get these, these, these so-called black men and black women, these positions, these so-called corporate positions, they forget about their brothers and sisters to the point where you get pulled over and you get shot down. They hate you just as well as they hate me, brother. Read. Precept. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 94, and verse 4. Uh -huh. How long should they utter and speak hard things? For the most high God said, how long will these people utter and speak hard things? They speak hard things. Our people are cuss you out for nothing. Our women are disrespectful. Our men are disrespectful. They say hard things to each other. That's all they know. Now our kids are speaking hard things to each other now. That's the code that people speak now. You don't supposed to handle your brother in that type of way. He that despises, he that despises his brother uh, in, in, in sin. And I'm gonna pull that scripture, read. And all the workers of iniquity boast themselves. It says all the workers of iniquity boast themselves. The dope man boasts himself how much dope he sold today. The sister boasts herself of how many women, how many men she laid with today. Our people boast they self. They real powerful. They real accuracy, man. You can't tell them nothing. They know more than you know, but in the same situation that you're in. They're not proving their situations. Give me a um, hold that what you got up. Uh, give me um give me Proverbs. Proverbs 11 and 12. So that's all we do is boast ourselves, man. Talk about what we got. You ain't talking about. You don't even know who you are, but you're talking about what you got. You're in the worst condition of the. You're in the worst condition of any man on the face of this earth, and you boast about what you got. Read. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter eleven and verse twelve. And he that is void of wisdom despises his neighbor. So the Bible says, "Who?" The Bible says, "He that." Say that again. He. That is void of wisdom, despise his neighbor. That's why we hate each other, because we are void of wisdom. We don't know wisdom. Wisdom now is going to dwell in the malicious man. What's going on, my brother? How you doing? You know that you're a Jew according to the Bible? You know that you're a God-chosen people? Do you want to come find out about the Bible? Get the most high God five minutes of your time, man. Just five minutes of your time, brother. That's all we asking for, man. Five minutes of your time. Read. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 11 and verse 12. He that is void of wisdom despises his neighbor. So that's why we shoot each other down in the streets, because we despise that neighbor. We despise our neighbors, because we are void of wisdom. We void of the wisdom that I got to love my brother. So we don't, our people don't know these things. That's why we're so quick to get in our emotions and shoot the next man down. Because we don't have no wisdom of the Bible. The Bible tells us to love thy neighbor as we love ourselves. So if we know these things, we'll be in a better, we'll be in a better situation. But we are void of wisdom. All we know is what the rappers tell us. All we know is what the so-called white man tell us. Read. But a man of understanding. Say that again. But a man of understanding. But a man of understanding and know who he is. Know that he is a king and his brother beside him is a king too. He wouldn't do the things that he do to his people. He wouldn't sell drugs to his people. He wouldn't hold out his sisters. He would love them. He would look at them with respect and dignity. He will honor them. We don't have no honor amongst each other no more. We don't stick. We don't stick together like we're supposed to stick together. We always against each other all the time because we've been placed up under curses by not keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments. Read Proverbs eleven and twelve. Come on. And he that is void of wisdom despises his neighbor, Come on. but a man of understanding holds his peace. So a man of understanding holds his peace. Brother come up to you, flash your money, doing all type of things, you hold your peace. You don't say nothing to him. Because you have wisdom. The Bible says I can't do this to my brother, so I'm going to let my brother talk. Do your thing, talk. Brother, God bless you, I'm going to pull off. Because I know I have to hold my peace. I know I can't react on everything. I know I can't get in my feelings about everything. The Bible teaches you how to be a man. The streets don't teach you how to be a man. The streets make you soft, actually, they make you soft. 
Because the first thing you do is run and go get a pistol. You don't box it out no more. You don't talk things out. We're supposed to talk things out with each other. We're supposed to know what we were supposed to go. We was, we're supposed to be able to go to one another and confess our faults. And the men is the relationship between each other. We don't do this here. That's why so much division amongst us. That's why so much hatred amongst us. We got to set the hatred and the pride down and pick this Bible up. Only way we gonna, only way we gonna, is to see as a nation of people is to come together. But we can only come together up under one mind, up under one banner. Yahweh by Hashem of my shock, Yahweh shot. Read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. So the Most High God said, This is a commandment to the so called Negro, the so called Hispanic and Native American man and woman and child. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. You don't supposed to hate your brother for no means. Why would I hate my brother? He's just like me. He's trying to make it like me. If I hate him, then that means I don't love my brother. That's why our communities are filled with killers and drug dealers. Because we don't love each other. We listen to this music, this music pump us up, make us arrogant against each other, and put spirits on us. We don't know how to love one another. Because we always one we always at one another throat. You done with that? I read. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 33. Be not deceived. Say it again. Be not deceived. Come on. Evil communication corrupt good manners. So all that music that you out there bumping, that corrupts your manners. Now you don't know how to respect a woman now because that person told you to call that person a bee or call that person a whore. So you don't know how to respect your sister no more. And sisters don't know how to respect their husbands no more. They don't know how to respect the man no more because Megan Thee Stallion tell you to cuss the man out. Take his money. Rob him. Set him up to get killed. So the, so the corrupt communication pours in our mind as a people. We grew up on these things. These things are, these things are, 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 are making us uh, delusional to the point that you actually think you can live this life like that. The rappers don't live that life they're talking about. I'm going to get a million dollars. I'm going to come back to my killing somebody and selling dope to somebody. That doesn't make sense. What about making it out of the hood? You still want to take the hood with you. What kind of sense is that? Read. This is the book of Leviticus 19 and 17. Come on. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Come on. And thou shalt in any wise reboot thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. We suffer sin upon each other. We suffer sin upon each other. Because we love to see each other down. We get a kick, and the black man get a kick, I see another black man down. So we suffer sin. If I see you doing wrong, I'm supposed to correct you. But our people don't love correction. They hate correction. They hate when they gotta follow an order or authority. But they follow the white man authority all day long, don't have no problem with that. Right. But when it comes to the Bible, and the Yahweh, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, there's a problem now. That's right. We hate our, we hate one another. So much of the must we despise each other. Don't let, I read. Verse 18. Huh? Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge, what now? nor bear any grudge. You don't supposed to avenge your brother. You don't supposed to avenge him if he do something wrong to you. Or bear a grudge. Our people hold grudge to 15 and 20 years. They haven't spoke with each other yet. Brothers don't speak to their sisters because they don't fell out by something. Sisters don't speak to the mama no more because they don't fell out by something. We hold these grudges and don't know that's a sin. You in sin when you hold a grudge against your brother and your sister. We out here telling that we out here telling you the commandments because we love you. We want to see you make it. We don't want to see you get burnt up in that fire. We are trying to save souls, win souls. We out here fishing for our brothers and sisters. Give me uh give me uh give me Matthews, uh no, give me first John uh three and fifteen. I'm going to show you something else when you hate your brother in your heart. And what makes us hate but what what makes us hate each other? The music, the videos, uh just just growing up in the neighborhood in poverty, these things affect our minds. Just like the brother said even even having evil company. That destroys us as a nation of people. Where there's no vision that the people shall perish. Right. We perish because there's no truth in the hood. There's no, because no, no, nobody don't read the Bible no more. It's just stand on Big Mama's uh, table collecting dust. Read. 
This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 15. Uh -huh. Whosoever hated his brother what is? is a murderer. So the Bible says, whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. So that's how serious it is. If you hate your brother about something small or something simple, it's like you committed murder to him. That's right. That's God going to punish you like you have committed murder. The Bible says, whosoever, whosoever, man or woman, hate his brother or his sister, have committed murder already in his mind. You already put them to death. So God will give you the same charge as if you killed that man or that sister. and going to put you to death for that. And we wonder why a lot of our people get put to death. Because they hate their brother in their heart. They don't want to see their brother or their sister come up. Why is that? Because we are cursed. The most high God said, I'm going to curse y'all for not being dis for not obeying me and being disobedient. Because the children of Israel don't want to hearken to his commandments. They don't want to hearken. They want to do their own thing. They want to go about their whole day not thinking about the most high God. Not worshiping, not reverencing him. Not being obedient. We want to be disobedient children. Hard head and stiff neck. So we got to pay the consequences for that. We got to pay the punishment for that. That's why we're getting shot down in the street like dogs. That's why we're shooting each other like dogs out here. That's why we'll disrespect our women and our kids. You hate your kids and your woman if you're not taking care of them. Just like the general said, your baby mama is a terrorist and the baby dad is a criminal. You know why? Because what we do, we destroy each other. The woman stay destroying the man. She stay destroying him. And the man is like, and the man is, 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 how should I say this, sir? He becomes a piece of crap. We don't take care of the responsibilities. You know why we become that? Because we get out here and we take the lesser route. We don't want to, we don't, we don't, we don't want to come to, to the, to the responsibilities to take care of our families and our children. Ain't nobody out here protecting their neighborhoods.